guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're talking about the basic first aid kits for an emergency. Some of you have suggested it's a good idea for me to make this video for you and share what I have in my first aid kit. So of course I took the opportunity and I'm making this video. First of all guys, it's very important to say that some of you suggested to make this video based on the fact that we want to have a budget and budget friendly first aid kit. And I had a Google and I had a look on Amazon on the emergency first aid kits that specific companies sell. And I'm saying about specific companies, they're the one that kind of specifically targeting the preparedness and survivalism type people. And it made my eyes water. There's certain kits I've seen online, okay? They're ranging anything from like 60 pounds to 80 pounds and a 260 pounds. And if you actually have a closer look at what's included, then you actually realize that those kits have nothing of the value inside them. Yes, they might have occasional thing that you might not be able to easily get um, on marketplace, not marketplace, but like Amazon or eBay or anywhere or anywhere online. However, half of the time, if these things are there of that kind of nature, that some of us wouldn't even know what to do with them unless you actually had your first aid training. So in this instance, guys, I'm making a comparison, those in those bags in here, Okay, the comparison of something that I've made is online at £84 and you can honestly get this done for about £20 at the best. So, first of all, I have my four kits in front of me, okay? This little tiny little boxy thingy, okay, it's been in the glove box for ages and it has very basic, it's just the plasters, um, a little bit of tweezers and some tablets like headache tablets and I've said stomach tablets, okay? That just genuinely lives in the glove box. And then I have my three um, kits here as well. So this one lives in my bag out bag, very fitting, as you can tell. I've got this one is lives in the car in the get home bag, is my husband's car. And I have this one, which has been repackaged now in a red little case that I bought from Home Bargains. It lives in my van. Of course, I have a fully comprehensive first aid kit at home. But for this purpose, we do guys, we are concentrating on making your little kits that you either keep at home in your car or obviously in your bag out bag. So the point is, point of the moral of the story is guys, you don't even have to start from scratch. If you don't know where to start and how to start building your kit, have a look in the home bargains, okay? This little kit was there for, 90, it basically was five pounds, okay? And then I've made my own additions or my own things I wanted to be included. Things like this guys, okay? You can pick up on Amazon depending on the size or shall I say the quantity of bandages, okay? You're looking between 10 and 15 pounds. If you're lucky, you have to keep an eye out. Sometimes deals comes out. And at the same time, obviously, I've made my own addition. So if you're really, really unsure where to start, those kits are absolutely brilliant. And then you can, of course, take them. You can repackage them into a different bag, different box, whatever you want and it's absolutely brilliant way to start. Thereafter, guys, after you purchase that, at least you've started somewhere. I've mentioned before, and if you follow the videos, you know, guys, I've been going, obviously, the home bargains, Tesco's, uh, pound shops, whatever, and in my little shopping prep, prepping shops, I've been picking up things like this, you know, little bandages, little things like that. And honestly, they cost like 49p, 59p, and um, some of them like 39p, some things a pound, but they're super, super cheap. And because of the multiple quantities, that could do you a couple of uh, first aid kits. Super cheap, super, super cheap, and really, really good. Things like this as well. Obviously, all of those dressings are of a different sizes, and they are basically, I would say, like a glorified plaster. However, this is what genuinely included in your first aid kit, and you can pick them up pretty, pretty cheaply. Okay, thereafter, guys, um, you can then, after you've made your basic or bought your basic, you can purchase slightly more comprehensive items in terms of the first aid or looking after the wounds and things like this. So for example, I've got few, if you watch my video about the home uh, first aid kit, I have quite a few of those. They are silver impregnated pads, so they basically help healing. Uh, they're not particularly the cheapest, but they are there, they're like a foil pack and they'll last you a long, long time. Things like this as well. There's a long bandage, very long. It kind of could be used on a very long cut or very long, um, sort of any kind of, you know, scratch if you wish, but the whole thing, you can cut those to size. So the point is guys, you can start basic and then you can build it up if you wanted to and buy more different things that are available on the market. So without further ado guys, we'll be concentrating and look at what's inside my bag out bag emergency kit. Hey guys, 
this is that. So you can see here I have my little first aid bag. You might have seen guys a lot of those kits that are aimed at the preppers and survivalists. I generally come in the bags like this and believe this or not I bought this bag from Timu and it's costed me £2.36. Yes because it's black in colour. If you wanted to buy this in camo you can pick them up for about a tenner but I didn't see the need and guys look at that okay. So it's really compact. It's got everything you possibly want in a bag okay just to give you an idea so this is the back because one of my backpacks have the velcro at the front so you can velcro that if you wanted to so in the emergency if you just need to grab it and peel this from your bag and go and help somebody then you can so they will have that and then you can obviously you've got your straps there so all right at the front you've got your little first aid thing which you can take away if you don't want to do whatever you want and then you have your little the pocket things here, okay? Just exactly as they are, but without costing me a fortune. Again, don't have to have that, but I found this fitting with my bag. So, without further ado, okay, let's get that opened up. It's not particularly the tidiest, but that's what we have. Okay, so, first of all, here for up as a tourniquet, right? You can, again, pick them up um, on Amazon. You can pick them up on Timu you're looking about a couple of pounds and they are really an absolute must thing to have whether it's be it in your first aid kit or in your bag out bag or generally at home as well they are absolute must have so here the bag opens up and first thing you can see we've got the usual mylar blanket okay you should have them in your uh, bag out bag anyway but they're a great thing to have in your first aid kit this is those silver impregnated things you can see the cam in the little little bags okay here again there's a selection of bandages and this one here guys was taken out and combined if you had a car or have a car and you have a first aid um, kit underneath the seats I've combined always taken them out when we sold the car and then made my own version just adding on certain things so you have your little compressing pads I'm just getting a few of them out so right here you can see this is all those dressing adhesive dressings okay they're the ones were from the um, home bargains okay you can see just basically a big plus this uh, here we have some iPad iPad dressings okay they were already in the kit so you can see that's pretty good a couple of those we have low addition dressing pads you can few of those that come in a different sizes and get a few of those in the pack okay so that's some of this one of those um here i've got a tweezers i've decided to include my own super sharp okay the plastic ones that normally come with the first aid kits or some of them are generally a bit rubbish so i suggest to upgrade the thing so i upgrade it to one of those and um, obviously there are scissors in there as well guys for um cutting your bandages when i've taken out sorry i haven't said I've got a bunch of those again guys those are the things you can pick up from they'll come in the kits anyway okay they're just different size bandages but you can pick those up for about 35 I think or 39 pence in um, home bargains so they again something that always comes in the first aid kits so there's a few of those in there okay here guys I have some which the kid didn't have is some little cotton buds and I just basically just bag them into a little bag uh, here the kids one of the kids came with that is the eye solution okay so eye wash so if you get something in your eye you can rinse this out right oh so underneath there again I have some other oh there's a burn dressing okay so I've got one in the back and I have a couple of face masks only for the reason guys of anything but if there's something going on if we are working on somebody's um, first aid you just want to cover your mouth for whatever reason they're there for that okay so that's move on to this one here as a part of my tablets thing guys i've got some activated charcoal which i'll cover in a different video but this is good for many things including cleansing the wounds and of course help up against poisoning right on this side here okay i have a just a general um antibacterial um gel okay so on this side again i've got and i had this in a big roll this is like a dressing um kind of tape but again it could go straight on the wound okay they come in the big 10 uh, 10 meter or five meter rolls 
which I've cut a little bit off and just folded it over. So this is handy for a larger, larger wounds if God forbid that happens. Um, triangle and bandage, this one is the same as you see on, um, on my video, but this is just a smaller one. It came in one of the packs as well. There you go, there's a two of those, okay. So on this side as well, I've got opinel knife, okay. Again, something that I thought is a good idea to have knife in the first aid kit just in case. So opinel that lives in there, okay. Right, here again, that was the choice I've decided to add on. This is whether you can buy this steel or not, I don't know. But this is a solution um, that you, people used to use before applying the tattoos, and it basically a local, not an aesthetic, but it numbs your skin. Again, there could be many reasons for that that you wanted to use that. I think that was about $6.99, but I, I'm pretty sure they have become um, not available to buy through like eBay or Amazon, but anything that will numb your skin for whatever reason, guys, uh, obviously not gonna go into details, but I thought it was a good idea to have in the kit. Then here again, guys, the we have selection of just gloves, powder-free gloves. Uh, my own addition, again, they're like basically vacuum sealed. Um, a trauma pads, if you wish. They obviously expand when you open them up. Again, this is something I've purchased separately. Some of them come not a vacuum sealed, but they are like much bigger in terms of size, but they are sterile and I've got one of those in there. I thought it was a good idea. And then of course here you have the little ice pack that was already came with one of the kits. Again, you can pick them up and you can have more than one if you wanted to, but they are quite bulky, so I've got one of those in there. Okay, so that's done on this side. So of course, I've got a pack of paracetamol as well. Um, it's really strange. I don't actually ever see anybody having a tablet in their first aid kit in a bag out bag. It's like just imagine bugging out or doing or have to be trailing through God knows where of having a massive headache. I don't think people actually thought carefully enough about that. So anyway, let me get that out. All right, next thing, the last bit guys here, if I just turn this around. We have here is a little tape. Okay, obviously to tape your bandages. We've got also selection of the um, cleansing wipes. Okay, there's a few of those in there. And then of course, guys, there are um, selection of plasters. And again, those kits that come, uh, the plasters come with, uh, some plasters are just ridiculously weird in size. So this way, when you customize your own, you can just make sure you put to what you think you might want to use. And of course, guys, we have here a little bit of the safety pins to hold those bandages together. So yes, guys, this is as simple as that. So as you can see, guys, okay, just by adding on a couple extra things, we kind of built up the first aid kit to kind of desired state. Of course, it's one of those things, guys. Preparedness is a journey, it is a way of life. And I think especially with a first aid kit, it's always gonna be things that be coming up or you might see on a deal that you will be able to add on to the kit. But this is absolutely fine, guys. So long as you have your basics there, you can just add on things as you see fit. For example, my next thing, which I really want to do, I really want to add on a sterile solution. And I do have one of the big ones in, I think it's a 500 milliliter bottles. However, I would like to have a decanter this into a smaller bottle and to be able to fit this in here. I totally appreciate being sterile in the bottle and then transferring this, potentially might not make it that sterile after all. However, if we are guys in the wilderness or in the middle of nowhere and we need some you know, first aid kit and we need some water, that water that's sterile water being decanted in a sterile or non-sterile container will be probably still the best thing you'll have to hand. So I wouldn't imagine that to be uh, any problem with this whatsoever. So this is my next thing on my list. And again, things again, guys, there are different things available for burns as well. Of course, it's all size permitting and it's very important, as you probably know, especially if you're building your kit for a bag out bag, is just to make sure that the stuff fits in a fairly compact bag or a box. So guys, that's that. I really hopefully you can find this helpful. Just to give you an idea, just the kit, the comparison of the kit, okay? So this kit here will cost you roughly 60 pounds based on what I've seen online for those people charge. And if you exclude the open L knife and the um, tattoo cream, we're looking guys just under 20 pounds, okay? Again, you don't even have to buy this bag. You can just reuse 
a bags like this or the bags or boxes like that that the basic kits come with so to me you get an idea guys we need to especially nowadays um everybody's struggling financially we want to be able to prepare but we want to be able to do it kind of on the budget without spending a fortune especially when it's unnecessarily inflated inflated prices so there we are guys well thank you very much for watching any suggestion of things maybe to add on to my kit that'll be great as well please comment down below just bear in mind that it has to be kind of fairly tiny to fit in there so anyway thank you for watching i shall see you in the next video bye bye